Look, guys, we're going to make this short and simple. We're going to get right to the point. If you're looking for a mouse pad, mouse mat for affordable price, you come to the right place. I'm not going to show you how I unbox this situation. This came in here in the Razer mouse mat. But I try to do this video like three or four different times, and it didn't work. So here we go. I unboxed this thing. This thing is awesome. Go get it. No, listen. <laughs> this is the packaging. It's super ill. The packaging is awesome. It's Razor. What else you expect? Even if they make something that's budget friendly, they're going to try to go all out and make the best of it. They're not trying to make their name look bad. It's Razor. So off top, the packaging is awesome. Ultra durable. Polycarbonate finish. Designed for maximum durability. Ultra thin gaming mat. So it's not a pad, it's a mat. Gaming mouse pad, gaming mat. Okay, I thought it was just one thing, pad. I mean, pad. So now I figure out, we got mats. This is the sound it makes, like a karate flick. Damn you, you killed my brother. Now you must die. Anyway, <laughs> big ups to Razor. I think it's like seven bucks. I'll put the link in the description. If that, I got it on sale. Plus, 90% of the time, you could probably get a discount <laughs> with the link in the description. Hopefully, you would this time. But if not, it's still a budget friendly situation and it's awesome. Does it make you game better? Does it make the mouse slide faster across your, your desk, your gaming situation? Does it make it better? I ain't gonna lie, it's super slippery. But with grip, I don't know if you if you if you understand what I'm saying. So the DPI on this, I use it at 1600 at times. So I will have to lower it to 18 to 800. And if you use it to 800, you're gonna probably have to lower it. Meaning that this thing for some reason makes the mouse flow smoothly, but like with grip at the same time. I don't know. I can't explain it. Plus, the fact that it says Razer, it stands out at your desk. It's awesome. You can stick this, actually peel this, and stick it to your uh, gaming desk table, whatever you're using. And then you can repeal it and put it somewhere else, supposedly. I haven't done none of that. So I I'm not going to tell you that part. I'm not here to lie to you. But is it a bang for your buck to own something that says Razer? And if you're doing reviews or just have a Razer mouse and want to have the whole setup and get something budget friendly like this Razer Def Editor V2, there's only about 20 bucks. I'll put the link in the description also. But the one I'm using is a Razer Viper Mini. There's about 30 bucks and it's supposed to be better than the Def Editor. The Def Editor is like the cousin of the Razer Viper Mini. And with this bad boy, you got a whole setup. What better than that? So either mouse you get is awesome. If you can't afford it, I'll be honest, I'll get the Viper Mini. But if you want to save 10 or 15 bucks, get the Def Editor and with the rest of the money, get this. You get it? Thank you for tuning in. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. The colors are ill. It screams out Razor. I think it's worth the money. For seven bucks, you get a Razor product. You get to unbox something. You get to wait for the mailman to come. Oh, my package is there. <sighs> Razor, yeah. Pop, stick it on. It's going to feel like flimsy. Like, what's this? Right? Because if you're used to big extended mouse pads or whatever, look, it's something different. It's change. Different is good. It helps you feel different. So when you go inside your setup and you sit down, you move different, and the content comes out different. Different is good. Razor, they're different.